Good morning, Richland High School. Thank you for viewing Ram TV. Today is Monday, November 25th. Lunch, Texas toasted cheese, chicken nuggets and roll, flatbread pizza. Ski club meeting. There's a ski club meeting today after school for students interested in ski trips to Seven Springs and the Killington trip to Vermont. It will be held in Mr. Wintering's room D112 and will last about 20 minutes. Army lunchtime visit. An Army recruiter will be in the cafeteria during period 5. Lunch for any interested students today. Vision screening. Vision screening for the students in 10th to 12th grade that have a PE class will be on no Tuesday, November 26th. Please remember to bring your glasses and wear your contacts. Junior and seniors are reminded that all candy slot oh, and fruit orders are due in the guidance office by Tuesday, December 3rd with payments. Checks should be made out to Richland High School. Delivery date will be December 13th. Congratulations, cheerleaders. Congratulations to the junior high cheerleaders on a wonderful season so far. This year, they have placed in the top two at every competition and have attended the including. Bishop McCourt Spirit Fest, second place. Laurel Highlands Invitational Cheer Classic, first place. UPJ Cheer and Jan Dance Classic, second place. Richland Cheer Classic, first place. This weekend, they, they place first and become the middle school state champs at the Pennsylvania State Cheerleading Championship. We would like to wish them good luck on the rest of their season as they continue to represent our school. We are so proud of you girls. Keep up the great work. We love that Ram spirit. Also, congratulations to the varsity cheerleaders who placed third in this week's competition. The next competition for both squad is in the Allegheny Regional held in Pittsburgh on December 7th. Good luck, girls. Congratulations, varsity football players. Congratulations to the varsity football players on another outstanding season. They lost a hard-fought battle against Central Friday night, but they provided us with another spectacular season. SAD is having a clothing order for the entire student body, faculty, and Richland community. The clothing has a saying, keep calm and say no, in Richland's colors, red and blue. Please support Richland SAD students against the destructive decisions. See Mrs. Dumb or the guidance office for order forms. Deadline to order is December 2nd. 50th anniversary of the assassination of President Kennedy. Friday marked the 50th anniversary of the assassination of President Kennedy. Here are some of Richland's faculty that recalled the events of that tragic day in American history. Twenty-second of November, 1963. I was in first grade. Eastern time was about 1.30 in the afternoon. Somebody came into the classroom, whispered into the nun's ear in front of the room. Next thing I knew, I'm, I'm in first grade, the next thing I knew, we're all on our knees beside our desk saying the rosary. Then we got dismissed from school. I went home. My mom was standing motionless in the middle of the living room, staring at the TV, tears running down her face. For some of you older students, you probably remember where you were on the 11th of September 2001. It's that kind of galvanizing instant in time that you remember and you don't forget. Yeah, I was about two years old when uh, JFK was assassinated. I don't remember much specifically about the day. I do remember my parents were very upset, very saddened. Okay. Uh, I think I, I still have kind of that sense. Uh, and I think even to this day that most Americans are still saddened. Uh, just as a side note, uh, today's also my wife's uh, a birthday. Uh, she was uh, 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 born three years after the assassination of John F. Kennedy. Okay, November 22nd, 1963. I think the thing I remember or take from this day is that how wonderfully, how beautifully the First Lady handled herself under just such horrific circumstances. I think that will always be remembered. And I think another thing that will be remembered is the 26.6 second video that has still lived on from this day. And 
the interesting story behind the video and how the video uh, traveled since all the uh, places it has gone since that eventful day. All right, I was in sixth grade at the Church Grove uh, Elementary School here in the Richland School District. That school used to be at the site where the Richland Fire Hall is today. I remember our teacher uh, announcing it uh, in class. I think it was a little bit after lunchtime when that happened. It was a very sad day, and then I do believe uh, on Monday, the day of the funeral, we had off, and I remember watching the funeral service on television. I was really young when um, President Kennedy was assassinated. I was in my second grade classroom. My teacher left the room um, suddenly, and when she came back in, she was in tears and spent the entire day crying, but um, didn't tell the students in the room why she was crying. So we spent the day very perplexed and confused. It wasn't until I went home, and my mom, who was visibly upset, uh, told me what had happened. Um, you know, and it's at seven years old, you have a limited idea of the scope of this kind of tragedy, but it kind of became clear pretty quickly when it was followed by a succession of other just as tragic um, events that continue to, you know, haunt society, I feel, even today. Today's career announcement, November 25th. Students, Healthcare is one of the largest, fastest growing industries in PA. There are many areas in which you can specialize with the healthcare field. If you like children, you may want to specialize in pediatrics. You probably know that pediatrics is the study of infants, children, adolescents, and young adults. But at the opposite end of the spectrum is geriatrics. <coughs> geriatrics addresses diseases of, and problems specific to old people. Opportunities are good for health care workers, whether you want to serve the young or the elderly or any age group in between. What's your favorite thing to do in the snow? Play in the snow. We saw that one coming. <laughs> What's your favorite thing to do in the snow? Plus my neighbors in the face with a snowball during a snowball fight. What's your favorite thing to do in the snow? I like to build snowmen. <laughs> Have a great day.